Hi, I'm Bob Fry, and this is Louis Biaggi. Hello. And uh, we have here one of our uh, case style number 10 with the skeletonized 6497 movement. And hopefully we can see that a little bit. Now, Louis, you just installed this into that uh, case. Yes, and I have a service tip for uh, installing and removing the movement. Yes. See the winding pinion? The winding pinion and that, oopsie, let's just turn it a little bit and hold it somewhat, the winding pinion in there somewhere, yeah. yes. Traditionally, when you remove a watch from the case, you would pull out the crown to the setting position, yes. loosen the set lever screw, right. and then pull the stem out. Correct. If you do that with this watch, since there's no dial, there's nothing to hold the winding pinion in place, and the winding pinion will drop down into the crystal. Oh, we don't want that to happen. So, so what do you do? So what you have to do, you pull the stem out to right. the setting position. Pull it out to the setting position. Loosen the detent screw, or the setting lever screw, right. and then turn the watch over and pull the stem out. And pull the stem so out. So the winding position, the winding so, stem, and then when you put the movement, then the movement will the drop out of the case. When you put the movement back into the case... Hold it here, hold it here. So the, the case back will be open at this point, and once you remove the stem, the movement's going to drop out. The movement will drop out, but the right. winding pinion will stay in, in, place, in place in this position. And that's important. Then when you go to case the movement, again, you, ha you have the movement dial side up, right. drop the case on it, put the stem in, then you can turn it over, and tighten the setting lever screw. Okay. And that way the winding pinion will stay in position. Does everybody have that on Through how we're going to do the winding pinion? Okay. But how are we going to case this thing? Because there is no uh, uh, case, there's no dial in here. There's a, a space, there's a gap. And how, we, how do you case it without the dial? Oh, you just, there's a little uh, ridge inside the case you just lower the movement down until the movement bottoms out on the ridge. And the stem lines up right? The stem will line up as you and can see. And then to hold it in place you just... You've got to use the long case screws. You use the case screws to come originally with the movement. And you have to adjust the height of the case screws so that the when you screw the back on the back just touches the the case screws. So the case screws are whereabouts? Case screw is there and there. Alright, so the case screws are around here and over there. And they are backed out just a little bit so they're actually hitting like the metal part of the case. Or not the glass, but the metal part on the back side of the case. Yeah, so when you screw the back on, as you, as you screw it on the back lowers until when the back is bottomed out, making a waterproof seal with the gasket in the case, the, the should just touch the heads of those screws. And I feel no shake, no rattle, no movement at all. Yeah. Well, if, if, the, if, pull out the, if crown. the screws, if the screws are not, are screwed in too too far, if they're in so that the heads are too low, you might get a little rattle. The solution is just back the screws off. And I, I turn see no so. movement, no movement of the crown, no no shaking at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it works without a dial and without a skeleton dial. And it's just a matter of using the original ETA screws and then backing them out to the right amount. And when the case is open, that, that, there's, that's a, on with a wrench. there's a little yeah. bit of, it's on with a wrench right now, but the, uh, there's a little bit of a movement until the screws are there, until the case is there. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. And so, Lewis, thank you very much. You're welcome. And I guess that's a wrap for today.